Principle two, coaching and mentoring, whatever needed. We don't act, what we call ourselves as development guys. We don't use the words coach or mentor. We have a contract that we have every single venture signed before we start to work together. We describe the development guide process and we say, this is what we're doing. You are free to take any advice that we give, but you do not have to. This is basically what, this is up to you. So make sure that you're not violating your own ethics in terms of how you've set up your the relationship between you and your um, and your client. But that being said, when we're working with ventures, we are offering whatever they need in the moment. And I, I think this is very different than many other people work. So, and I know this for a fact because I was actually talking to a, a friend who asked me for advice with a particular client that she had. And she said, I've asked this guy questions from every kind of direction. And I cannot, it's like, I can't get anywhere with him. And I said, okay, but if you were to tell him what you think he might, what might be a good thing to do next, what would you say? And she said, well, I would suggest he do X, Y, or Z. So I said, I, she said it. And I said, okay, why don't you say that? But she was, she was stuck in one mode. So, so being free to be able to move back and forth to, to the, now, now a question is needed and now a suggestion is needed and forming it always in suggestions. One of the things that my teacher taught me was to always ask, would you like an idea? Would you like a suggestion? And then the person, if the person says yes, then she said, called it knocking on the door of their mind, which is to saying, is this what you want? I've had people say, no, I don't want to. Great, fine, great. So, but um, being a very flexible in terms of what we're offering based on what our experience tells us is needed rather than a mental model that says you have to do X, Y, or Z.